Do you have any place to stay tonight? Don't you dare lie to me. In the movie The Blind Side, this is meant to be the moment that Leanne Tui, played by Sandra Bullock, takes a young black homeless child into her home and family. But the real-life subject Michael Oer says the Hollywood film depicting his life is nothing but a lie. One, he claims, made the Tui family millions at his expense. He's filed a petition to a Tennessee court which alleges that Leanne and Sean Tui tricked him into signing a document that was a conservatorship, not the adoption he originally thought. In the court document, it states, The lie of Michael's adoption is one upon which co-conservators Leanne Tui and Sean Tui have enriched themselves at the expense of their ward, the undersigned Michael Owa. Michael Owa discovered this lie to his chagrin and embarrassment in February of 2023. One, two, three, this team is your family, Michael. The central part of his claim is about the movie, one that made around $300 million. He says he hasn't seen any of that money. He also argued that his image rights were given away without his full knowledge. In interviews just before the petition was filed, he hinted he didn't like how he was shown in the film. I think the biggest for me is, you know, being portrayed, uh, not being able to read or write. When you go into a locker room and your teammates don't think that you can learn a playbook, you know, that weighs heavy. And how have the Tui family responded? Well, Sean Tui described Michael Owen's claims as insulting and added, it's upsetting to think we would make money off any of our children, but we're going to love Michael at 37, just like we loved him at 16. Sean Chewy Jr., the son of the family, said in a podcast after the petition he was expecting a lawsuit for some time because of the film. I knew it was coming. I mean, it was a matter of um, time. It was it's surprising because it's, you know, Monday, you wake up like a normal day. But it's, it's, he's, this is not his first one. It's been um, a couple of years uh, in the making. I'm surprised that, that it, it happened the way that it did. If at the time that a contract was being entered into... Professor Nina Cohn specialises in conservatorships. With this particular case, were you shocked when you heard about it when it came out yesterday? It takes a lot to shock me. But there was something in there that I found very, very disturbing. And that is that it stated that the court had found that Mr. Orr did not have any physical or psychological disability. If that is what the order found, if that is what the judge found, no conservator should have been appointed. This is a real problem in the U.S., and we're seeing far too many people be denied their basic civil liberties. And it takes cases like this and the Britney Spears case to help people understand just how serious this is. The former NFL star claims he's taking back his life, but his critics say he's just doing this to sell his new book. A hearing into the case could take months.